Don't think so. The show goes on. Oh, we're alive. Chat. Was that Modest Mouse? Add 4K to the type. Okay. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> We have to add 4K to the title flip, because... Okay, I'm going to add 8K to the title. 4.7K, just to confuse people. Dude, Twitch mobile. Really? Okay, stream manager. 8K. Wait, camera. Don't get close to me, please. 8K, Alveus keeping stream. <laughs> Sick, did it work? Yes! So confused. 8K, 144 hertz. Yay! Chat, we're too bad I can only see in 144p. Yeah, that's a you problem. We're, the rest of us are watching in 8K. All right, well, let's see if we can Farm, not farm some impressions. <laughs> farm some chatters. Chat, do you think I should get new boots? I actually did mean to, but these ones still fit and like are not falling apart yet. They're just, they just look stupid because the paint. But I feel like they're fine, no? People are saying no. The paint adds character. I feel fine about it. They look cool. They need more paint on them. It's a fashion statement. Is it cold in here? Yes. I'm always upset about the temperature in here. Chat. Today, oh, today is a keeping stream. Um, we are going to do some rounds, I think. First off, we'll go maybe give everyone a snack, maybe say hi to everybody, and then we're gonna do diets today. So I'm going to show you guys what everybody eats, and then, and then we're going to feed out diets, and that'll be it. Toast is out. You want to see? Space. I think we should keep it. I think we should have 8K in the title while I do these rounds, and then when we go to do diets, we should maybe change it to like, no, we scared him, buddy. He has outgrown that log. You may be thinking, well, he's outgrown that cage, Maya. Excellent news. This is his new one. Um, I think we should change it to something like what the animals eat in a day, you know, or like, like some kind of diet farm, you know? Okay, yep, yep. excellent, excellent. Hi, Corlana. Chatter, should we do a little roll call? Anybody? Hello, Set Range. Hello, Civ. Stolen Army. Satan. Mick. Selfie. Dr. Peppa. Jazz. Hammy. XX Sends. Uh, Juso. Alianus. Holly Hopping. Uh, Matt. Nightshell. Josh. Raiden. Praise the Toucan. Betty. Uh, this is really hard because I'm trying not to read just chatters names that I know, but they're going too fast. So I'm using like context clues to guess the ones that I know already. Glenn, Big Zeusy, uh, Romrick, Doggy Business, V V V V V V V, um, Morgan, Slide, Sark. It's mutuals. Lording, Pickles, nice. Hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. It's probably going to be the best one yet. Hey. <laughs> For sure. Ah, ah, ah. Flip, can you do any animal impressions? Not that I know of. Okay. Well, we're going to find out today, chat. Hello. Never do you want a chocolate? Do you want a chocolate? Flip, do you want a chocolate? I don't like chocolate. Oh, yeah, of course you don't like you chocolate. Jesus. 
Um, one of them. This pen. That's the one. <laughs> yep. It's a little freaked up. How did that happen? Um, probably from me smacking it. Don't remember. Actually, we have those down there. All right, we're going to the go to the pasture. Dude. I don't have a belt loop. Leak the contract. Guys, I didn't get the contract. I didn't get the contract, but Flip has already signed it. The dotes. Time to be released. No, they said today. Maybe I'll get it during the stream and then I'll sign it during the stream. I'll make Flip look away and then I'll tell you. <laughs> we'll see. Don't! Yay! Did you guys see the goat cam yesterday? We're going to try to do the goat cam every Thursday. We've been making improve by we, I mean Space and Connor. have been making improvements to the goat cam. Beetle uh, now carries a iPhone. It's pretty sick. Um, it was on my Instagram story yesterday. If you didn't see it, that's because you don't follow my Instagram, and you should, because I kill it on there. I'm going to be honest. I post stories all the time. I'm really proud of it. Oh, no. Don't look. Is this yours? Yeah. You don't have magnets in here? There is. There is. I don't know. Oh, you need, we need to put magnets behind your actual plate. Like on your car because they won't stay otherwise chat we have uh we strap magnets to rubber plate shaped covers and then we glue magnets to the back of our license plates flip doesn't have the magnets glued so the cover just falls off look it's the pasture flip doesn't the pasture look insane looks really clean. right we took out so much cedar. Did you see all the cedar when you drove in? No, I didn't. Oh, that's crazy because it's a giant fucking pile. Hello! Good morning! Would you like to be released? Buddy! Guys, one time Macero sent me to the emergency room because he got scared of a squirrel um, that was on this side of us. And so, no, 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 no. We were riding along a ravine. There was a ravine here, like a dry creek bed. And we, I was riding along the ridge and there was a squirrel in the creek bed. It scared him. So he jumped like this to, to run away from the squirrel. And then I fell into the ravine. And then I went to the emergency room. After you, pal. Lester's coming on Sunday to do a Saros feet. He knows I have carrots, so he doesn't want. Come here. No chicken. You cannot leave. There's things out here you can't have. Here you go. Stop, he would be way cooler if she was nicer to Winnie. Donk! I brought you something. Look. It's a carrot! Yeah! Here he comes. Jalpeno. 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 Helping you. Good job. Serrano. Don't feed horses like this. If you're going to feed a horse, tuck your thumb behind your hand and feed him flat like that. But if you want to see his little teefies, then you got to hold it like this and risk getting your finger bit off. <laughs> Yummy. 
tief. Yubby. Can I have your chin? Thanks. Can I see your teeth? Thanks. Good boy. He's gotten really good at that because um, the vet's going to need to look at his teeth to find out how old he is. They said they think he's like 11. These two are probably about the same age. Ma'am? Sir? Excuse me? Oh! Welsh, thank you for the 10! Hello! Let's go find the baby cow. Oh, there she is! Um, speaking of the baby cow, I called my equine vet, because he's a livestock vet, and I asked if... I've been asking around if anybody knows how to trim cow feet, because nobody trims cow feet, because nobody has cows long enough to have to trim their hooves because they all get slaughtered, right? So nobody does cow feet. And he was like, yeah, if we're gonna do it, you're gonna need a table and you're gonna need some straps. And I was like, what? <laughs> thank you for the five, Cuzcat, thank you so much. Um, he was like, you're gonna need a table and you're gonna need some straps and you're gonna need to put the straps around the cow on the table then you're gonna flip the table over on its side. Um, and I was like, all right, never mind." Yeah, so. We're not gonna do that. Instead, we got Winnie a nice pink halter. Um, she's learned how to wear a halter. And then we're very slowly asking her to accept um, us picking up her feet like this. And then we'll just, we'll get to the point where we can trim them like a horse. Cause I'm not fucking strapping her on a table and flipping her over. Do not! She's a good cow. The cow. You guys want to see her, um, one of her birthday presents? It was her favorite one. And by favorite, I mean the only one that she liked. Baby cow! Emmanuel. <clears throat> That's how we get famous at Alveus. You go like that. And then you get four million views. Anyway, hello baby cow, here you go, catchies, <laughs> wait she's actually shedding a lot, she likes it. <laughs> Yay. People talk, wow. Tipsy. Birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Is it nice? Thank you for the sub. That's a lot of hair, you guys. She's shedding. People talk, wow. Garbonzo zero subbed for the first time. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> She's mad because I stopped. Oh my god. That is really disrespectful. Hey, that's not how we communicate around here. Thank you for the 27 months. Oro, Garbanzo, thank you for the sub. Winnie learning from the goats. Big baby cow. <laughs> People talk wow. Well. Litty and Arla is up for 
14 months. Morning, Maya. Love the kids. Good morning. Have a great day. Thank you for the 14 months. Chat, can you imagine me... Can you imagine going that hard with a brush that looks like this? I can't believe she likes that. That would hurt so bad. <laughs> Ew, look at her bug eyes. <laughs> Why do her eyes look like that? <laughs> okay. I think that's good, lady. I think that's good. Donk! She's pissed. Done, scratchies. Ew. Done, scratchies. Email is subbed for the first time. Wow. So one less PhD subbed for the first time. Turn around. Run away. Wow. Don't. Pain underscore train seven hundred and forty one subbed for the first time. Thank you. Turn around. Connor just screamed. I don't know if you guys heard that. You jackass. <laughs> Go away. Oh my god. He's relentless. Keep going. Such a weird animal. All right. Very good. They want scratches too. Stompy is not coming over here for scratches. Donkey! Stompy's coming over here to attack Winnie. Speaking of chicken. Log Spirit! Thank you! This is a toy we got for the donkeys. Oh. Oh my god. I think there's stuff in it. He's dead. Do you want it? Give it to the donk. It's for you, buddy. Skeezer, thank you for the sub. It's in his mouth. Do you want it? It's a chicken. Oh. He's like touching his teeth, but he's not grabbing it. Well, for the first time. It's okay. 
Sorry, Donk. Spooked him a little bit. Bye, Toronto. Nice donkey. Nice donk donk. So, if you guys noticed, we cleared a lot of cedar in this pasture. A lot of it. Um, for a few reasons. One, cedar is the devil. Uh, it soaks up a bunch of water out of the ground. It makes the soil really acidic. makes it so other things cannot grow. It takes up a lot of space in the pasture, so they have a lot more room to, like, actually, like, they have a lot more actual ground to walk on because it was really bushy before. And it makes room for oak to grow. We like oak. We don't like cedar. Max Dax, thank you for the 33 months. My taco, thank you. Say bye, donk. You okay? What? I thought I dropped something. Flip's losing it. Are hey, the chickens? Thank you for the... Thank you for the 19 months, some dead hero. Who's in there? Thank you for the 12 months. That's a year! The Anakin. Thank you. La 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 la. Jesus. Hi. Hello. Sorry. Backpack doesn't like it in the vestibule. Vestibule. Hello. What are you doing? I see. No. Um, Mobacity, thank you for the 21 months. I don't know. Come here. Mia, you don't even want this. No, now there's going to be drama. Oh, Trevor! Uh, some of them do, yeah. Not these ones, though. Okay, she doesn't want it. I'm going to go get Siren because otherwise there's going to be drama in the window. Siren. Can you step up? I don't know. I, is it because of the phone? Do you want a seed? What do I They go. Hi. Can you step up? Thanks. Seed. You go. Oh. Hi. Hi. Do you say something nice to them? Say hello. Hello. That's nice. Do you sing happy birthday? Hi. That's pretty good. Somehow getting worse. Huh? Good job. There you go. It's an excellent username. Thank you. Guys, you want to see how we clean the parrot enclosure? <laughs> Who wants to clean the parrot enclosure? I'll show you how we clean it. Number one, we sweep. Oh, God. We sweep. We clean all the enclosures every day. Um, the inside animals get their blankets changed every other day. 
but all the outside enclosures get cleaned every day, including the pasture. The pasture gets mucked every day, which sucks, <laughs> to be honest. It's not my favorite thing. Oh, look, it's the macaws. What a lo lovely surprise. If you've noticed, the macaws have, oh yeah, it's windy, so sweeping doesn't matter today. Pretty sick. Oh my God. Chat, tell me if a macaw is uh, gonna bite me, please. Ron John, is up for 32 months. Ron John, thank you for the 32 months. Their window is wrecked. Yeah, you wanna go show them the damages? They've decided that they hate that piece of AstroTurf uh, and that they don't want it, but it's just their home. They can redecorate however they please, I guess. Thank you for the two months. Hello. This isn't even, this is not my job today, um, but I'm doing it for the sake of content. Also in Parrots Ruin Everything, um, this is what Mia has done to the floor. Since the last time you saw this floor, it's probably worse. She likes to uh, climb down at night and we call them snail trails. And she chews lines in the floor um, because that's what she likes to do. Thank you for the 10 months. Thank you for the coda, thank you, sniff. Thank you, crispy cheese, thank you. Um, so we sweep the outside and the inside portion of their enclosures. This floor is exceptionally hard to clean because of Mia. <laughs> you. Um, but the macaw floor is actually really easy to clean. This is what the macaw room looks like. Thank you for the sub. Don't count. This is the macaw room. They hate when I come in here to keep them clean, which like totally makes sense. Hello, yeah. Hello, Miley. It's very nice. It's very nice. So nice. So then, after we sweep, siren screams. Dump it in the trash can. And then we use poop off. And then we spray it on the poop spots. Again, very hard to clean in here, kind of cringe because of you. Hello. Huh? Thank you. Spray. Then we let it sit because then it's easier to clean up. Close the doors. The rooms are really hot. Parrots have radiant heat panels. It's that, um, that like white thing up there. So that they have choices as to what climate they would like to exist in that day. Um, so yeah. Okay, let's brought some cleaning stuff, very nice. We got a new hose, which is exciting because the other one had a bunch of kinks in it. And then we spray the poop spots on the floor. Look right here. Cool. I'm gonna go all the way over here and see if I can lock it. So I have enough hose. But it just wants to retract. How do I lock it? Stop retracting. 
Eh. Damn it. Do you guys actually know how to do that? Because I don't know how to do that. Pull, yank it? Oh. That actually worked. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Okay, spray. You guys are lucky. Most days siren screams when I'm doing this. But not today. I need to go like right there. Go around me. Clean! This floor is so much easier to clean than when it was... That's the microwave. Hi! Hi! Than uh, when it was just dirt. I got a couple Discord messages and I forgot that I should check them. Nope. Okay. Clean! Da -na 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 -na. A little peepo trip, perhaps. That's okay. Stand by. Thank you. Just a little bit. Okay. Well. The nice thing about how fricked up this enclosure is, is that uh, it was built on such a slope that uh, we just cut a hole in the wire down there and spray out that way. It's kind of convenient, to be honest. Bird poop cleaner. Yes, poop off. Excellent. Coolest thing about this hose. Wait, I didn't get that spot. I'll tell you in a second. Okay, look at this. It retracts on its own. Now it's locking. Tragic. Tragic. I made a mistake. It's not retracting. I'm getting closer to it. Dude, I'm just getting more hose. Oh my god, this is not good. Cool. Other things in the parrot enclosure for cleaning it saved. It's kind of sick. Kind of sick when it works. Um, Actually, I'll clean the spots in here and then we'll go out. No, 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 no. We're gonna do this first. Sorry. Um, clean bits of perches where uh, there's poop. Spray poop, let it sit on there, and then come back and wipe it off. Cool. 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 Siren? Ma'am. Ding ding. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. How often do do you have to clean their enclosure? Every day. Every day, huh? We do this every day and it's so fun. 
and uh, they like me a lot. It's okay because I love them. Working with paws is humbling because I really do love those two birds so much. But if they ever got the opportunity, they would absolutely rip me to shreds. Thanks, Delphi. Clean, 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 clean. Clean, 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 clean. I need another rag. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We really need to replace these floors. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Don't lose an eye when you're scrubbing parrot perches, okay? It's dangerous business. That's it. It's not it. I lied to you. We have one more thing to do. One more thing. Dope. Um, replacing their bowls. Their bowls, dirty or not, get washed every day. So they get replaced every day. this before the macaws come out here. One of these. I need to bring water in here. I'm gonna have to get the hose again. Well, that's gonna suck, guys. One of these. Watch your back. <laughs> Clean bowl. Amazing. There she is, ladies and gents. Siren. Mia, why didn't you eat your squash? Ma'am, it's kind of weird of you. Oh, fuck. Uh, it's not gonna happen at the moment. Macaws, will you please exit the building? Sunflower seeds, but they're all the way over here. Miley, did you hear that? Miley's not leaving.
excuse me. I know it's scary, but you're like not being chill right now. Guys, oh my god. They're just breaking the wood and I'm stressing them out, so I'm gonna stop doing this right now. Tell me if the macaws come back out. <laughs> then I can go in there and replace that. Okay, water. Fresh water. We get the hose again. Hooray. One. Okay, there's one more bowl in there. I'm gonna use this to fill it up. Yeah, this is like not inconvenient at all. What's happening right now, this is so chill. I love this new hose. It's actually like really annoying, I hated that. Okay, hello Mia. I'm gonna give you this bowl. I'm gonna take this bowl. There you go, ma'am. She's nice. You guys, yeah, whatever. They got all but one new bowls. Okay, parrot enclosure, clean. Alrighty. Okay. Hello, chickens. I'm gonna leave these clean towels in the chicken coop for cleaning later. Oh shit. There's a snake in here. <laughs> well, you wanna see a snake eating an egg? That's what they look like. Snakes like eggs. That egg seems pretty large for this snake, to be honest. Um, but I don't know, I guess when you're wild when you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, I know it's like really bad timing for you, but you can't, he can't be in here. The weird thing about this is like, if this was, if this was an ambassador, like I would not, you have to be very careful after they eat because you don't want to regurgitate. So like, I don't want to like grab him because he's going to regurgitate and it could hurt him. But I also don't want to just like leave him in here. Connor's bringing down a snake hook. Well, I'm not worried about getting bit. I'm worried about the snake. Look at him. Connor, it's a fucking rat snake. It's not that serious. <laughs> I'm not scared of getting bit. I'm scared. He just ate an egg. Look at him. He's gonna so regurgitate pretty. it. 
Really? Yeah, if I pick them up right now, it's like, look at it. Look at the egg. You are pretty damn cute. I know. But like, I should I take him out when he just ate? Um, you can give him, just close this off. Okay. Oh. No, Beedle! Beedle? We're uh, closing this door off for the chickens. We're gonna give him like 10 minutes um, and then I'll come back to get him. So guys, the, the reason I don't wanna take him out is I've talked about this with our snakes before. Um, it is very clear that he just ate this egg and if I grab him right now, then he's gonna regurgitate it and that could hurt him. Um, he needs to like have a minute for it to get further down um, his digestive tract before I grab him. So we're gonna leave him for a second. I think so. Very it's very pretty. So, chat, set a timer for 10 minutes. Because of you, I'm no longer afraid of snakes. Really? Yeah. You know, uh, was it the Point Crow collab? Yeah. Point Crow collab was the first time Connor's ever touched a noodle. <laughs> yeah. I was putting her back in, and Connor was helping me put her back in, and he was like, This is the first time I've ever touched noodle. How is that possible? Beetle, no! How's Beetle been today? Excellent. As always, who's that? Dumpster. Oh, oh, sick. Yep. Guys, the dumpster's getting picked up. Beetle! Yay! Uh, the cheaper option might be to get a third dumpster, by the way, boss. Really? The front. Really? Yep. So. Okay. I mean, there's too much of it. I would get that cleared off first. Uh, than anything we do in the future for a cedar clearing, dumpster, 40 yard dumpster instead of those are 20 yards. Where are we gonna put it? Probably next for cycling. Okay. So that's the conversation for another day. All right. So you want that Be dull. Back on, don't you? Yeah. Chat, can you ID that snake for me while we're waiting on him? Yeah. No! He's not, I'm so sorry. It's an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, that's actually tough. Connor asked if his boyfriend was still here. By that he means mine. Look! What a majestic Mustang boy! It's definitely a snake. I was thinking rat snake. Black rat snake. Texas rat snake. Rat snake, Joe says. Okay, that's what I figured. I just want to know if there's like something more specific. Really cute. Snake hook. <sighs> Hello. Um, are you cleaning today or is Kayla? Oh, you're making diets, shit. Hmm? Um, um, no, it's fine. I think I texted the wrong group chat. Because <laughs> that was my plan for today. <laughs> okay. Um. Alright. Kayla is cleaning today. So I'm going to tell Kayla that there's a... There's a rat snake in there. Yeah, there's a snake in the chicken coop, so don't go in there. No, he's cute, he's fine. Shit. Oh, God. You get good reactions. What is this for? It's for the chins. It's so small. Yeah. I thought we got like a... Uh, they, the girls would kill me if I got another huge box because it sits in there forever and takes up a ton of space. So this will probably last like two months. Okay. So. Turkey just did diets. Okay. That's all. That's what was my plan today. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I think I texted the wrong one. Uh, I texted Kayla about it. Where's and Kayla? I don't know. There's Kayla. Oh. Okay. Um, we can go build your treehouse. No. Uh oh. 
Chat, I'm gonna be honest. Enrichment has to be done. I just like, I do enrichment six days a week here and I really like don't wanna do it. She's gonna get caught in your cord there. Um. Can you put together out the closure? No. I'm good. I don't want to do that. Uh, okay. Let's just go see, like... Connor, cover your... Oh, my God. Cover your plates. Damn it. Uh, la, 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 la. Hello. We'll go see the crows and the foxes. Cover your plates. You don't have magnets on your plates? Not the front one. I haven't had the front one in a while. Oh. Can we bring the foxes those rope toys? Can we see Duncan and Polly? Um, no, I don't want to walk Flip into my backyard because my dogs will maul him. Um, but we can, we can bring the foxes rope toys as enrichment later, I suppose. Damn it, I'm kind of stressed. <laughs> I really had that like locked in my brain. It was gonna be like all set up. It was gonna be easy today. I need to tell Kayla that there's a. There's a snake in the chicken coop. Please wait to clean it. Stop saying vit chat. I stopped texting for vitamins a long time ago. Mr. Chow underscore is subbed for three months. Mr. Chow, thank you for the three months. That's not your snake? No. I mean, technically, he's he's within my property line. That means he's mine. No, that's not what that means. No, it's not my snake. Abbott! Abbott! Okay, we'll see the crows and then we'll go down and get the snake. Sorry, that was like really poorly done. Hi, buddy. Wow, so clean in here. He is. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. I don't have anything for him. No. No. No burrs. Nope. Well, we tried, guys. That's all that matters. He's no dummy. I don't have any sticks in here. I can give him a rock. Here you go. Did you like it? Oh, that's cute. It's called a rouse. It's a good sign. It's a happy behavior. Okay. All right, let's go get the snake. Good stuff in here, guys. Good stuff in here today. Hi, coconut. How you doing? Oh my god, I don't want to do enrichment today. Fuck! Damn it! Ah! Chat. You do enrichment six days a week for this entire property and you start running out of ideas and then you do the same thing every day and then it you start hating it. You really start hating it. I really kind of hate it. Damn it. 
damn it. Chat phone. Oh my god. I'm gonna be honest guys, androids are cringe. So like an actual job? Yeah. It is like an actual job. I do I do enrichment six days a week, I do diets once a week, and then I do cleaning twice a week. Should we take the UTV? How would you feel about filming from the back of the UTV? Not today. I just mean like generally speaking, just yeah. hypothetically if that ever became a situation where that was necessary. Like you sitting in the back of it. You think so? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Up. What are you gonna do? Get the snake. Have fun. Thanks. Should I hit him? No. We F in the barn. That would be really lame. If that, if the chat freaking closes one more time! Ten minute timer. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the reminder. It'd be kind of sad if he wasn't still in there. I assume this will be in there. He actually unplugged it. He broke the fourth wall, he came out here and he pulled it apart. Like a little shit. Snake's still in here. How you doing, buddy? Better? Oh, he looks, yeah. Okay, look at this snake now. Isn't that, that the, t the difference? He like just ate it when we got in here before. Um, now you can like barely tell. Pretty cool, huh? Are you gonna be upset if I reach in there? Oh, he's quick. Can I come out? Hey, 
come out this way. He's like, just let me leave. You're gonna go up that way? I just feel like it's really predatory to stick my hand in there. I'm gonna use kind of trap, so I actually am gonna use this. Hi, can I help? Can we get out? People pop, wow. Dark supped for the first time. He's faster than Noodle. Hi, buddy. Oh. Grabbing onto the turf. He doesn't want to come out. There he is. Look at a little rat snake. Whoa! There he is! Oh! He hates chat. <laughs> this is a really beautiful snake. I'm gonna let him go because he does not like being held, which is fair because he's a wild snake. So, there he goes. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. I've got to sanitize the fuck out of the snake hook now. Would the chickens have killed him? I think he's too big. I think he's too big for our chickens to kill, and I think he's too small to kill a chicken. Anyway, all right, well, there it goes. Oh, I need to open this up for the chickens again. Sorry, guys. Oliver, sir. Okay, snake's gone. Oh, okay. Up to the nut house. Snake in the chicken coop. This is not. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. There's just no good way to do that. Enrichment! Here we come! Hooray! I'm so excited to do enrichment. talked about this more but I was also like wanting to let the snake go I think a lot of people because of like nature shows and shit think if you find a wild snake that you have to like like jump on its head and like, grab you know what I'm talking about you seen guys do that you're like <laughs> like as long as you move slow they they kind of act like noodle do you know they, they're not like out to bite you they only do that if they're scared um but yeah you definitely don't have to grab wild snakes like that if you move slow enough do not grab wild venomous snakes don't do that. If 
But, uh, I've caught and held lots of wild snakes and held way more captive snakes. I've never been bit by a snake. Which is kind of sick. Okay. Today. Crows, berries, chilies, chickens, and marmosets. Peepo pog, wow. Peepo pog, wow. Thank you for the 17 months. Eminem mix. Can I give this to chickens? But I feel like it might be too hard. I'm gonna do it anyway. Ah. If they, how do you know it's venomous? Yeah. If they bite you and you get sick, it's venomous. If they bite you and you die, it was venomous. No, there's a lot more to IDing venomous snakes than that. Um, and it's also a lot more than like, oh, their head's in the shape of a triangle. It's not that simple either. I'm gonna put some paper scraps in here. This is chicken enrichment. See, the other problem that I've realized with keeping streams is when I do enrichment on Fridays, I have to prep it before. Um, I have to prep it before stream because I lose people when I prep it because it takes me a long time. So you guys are gonna have to stand by, sorry. I was about to log off, honestly. Oh no. Sorry. Marmosets are covered. Show us the real content. There are people working on their enclosure again today. We're thinking marmosets can get moved out uh, before the end of April. Mealworms. Jeez. Okay, that was more than I wanted. <coughs> um, if it's not listed on there, ask Kayla what the amounts are. But they got like three different things. Okay. Parrots. A war. Macaws, blue polka dots, littles, other. People bog. Thank you for the sub. Knife. Scissors. I don't want to hear anything about like how straight these lines are. Parrots don't care. So I don't care. Don't do this at home. Thanks, E Rob. Thank you for the six months. Macaws get a pecan. Littles get a pistachio. Hello, boys. Little, little, macaw, macaw. Stabby, stabby, again. Napkins in here. Rope. Here, cut it, go through here, go through here, tie it. 
Hmm. Parrot enrichment. This is for either Mia or Siren. Thank you for the cinematic shots of the parrot enrichment. Double time. Flip is a pro. That is true. Guys, one day Flip's going to be famous and he's going to forget about us. And all the animals and Stompy. I cannot wait. <laughs> The ice pods are so pretty. Yeah, pretty cool. What is my making? Parrot enrichment. Parrot enrichment number two. Parrot enrichment number three. Are you guys having fun? Be honest. It's okay if you say no, but if they say no, mods. Thank you for the sub, Seed. This is Macaw Enrichment number one. Macaw Enrichment number two. This one. I'm making pancakes. Hooray. What is that? No. Oh. Do parrots need more enrichment than other animals, like chickens? Yes. The chickens get enrichment every other day, the parrots get enrichment every day. Thank you. Um, even then, sometimes parrots feel like they need a lot more enrichment than that. Enrichment is toys, essentially. Um, giving them opportunities to engage in natural behaviors so that they stay happy in captivity, um, stimulated, so that they don't develop self-destructive behaviors, neurotic behaviors, stress behaviors. It's kind of the same thing. Probably keep growing it for a while. Alright, one, two, three, four chickens. Let's go distribute this to start. Okay. Imagine you're in a cage with no toys. Yeah, I learned a really, this is gonna get really dark. <laughs> I learned a really remarkable lesson about enrichment um, when I was in the, when I was in the cuckoo palace for 48 hours against my will. <laughs> no, actually it was voluntary for the second 24 hours. But for the first 24 hours, you're sitting in there and they take your phone and they take like your, uh, like, all, like your clothes and your shoe, like literally everything. Um, so you don't have access to anything, uh, because there are a lot of ways you can hurt yourself. So they take everything away, right? So you're just like in a room with nothing. Um, and they gave me a snack choice at one point 
and I remember picking the first time I picked like little peanut butter sandwiches and then I was like taking them apart and trying to get like all the peanut butter cleanly off the cracker but it only took me like 30 minutes and so then I had another seven plus hours with absolutely nothing to do um and that was dumb so then the next time thank you so the next time I learned and I got trail mix <laughs> because thank you for the sub Jacob thank you um, because trail mix has a lot of fun textures and flavors in their M&Ms and you can take all the chocolate off of the M&Ms with your teeth two hours anyway point being uh, you need variety to stimulate yourself um, in captivity otherwise you lose your mind and it's the same thing with animals Hello? Backpack is really fucking struggling today. Siren. There you go. Mic her up. She got it. She got the pistachio. Mia, did you give up? Oh, Mia did it a long time ago. Oh no, it's in here still, ma'am. Hello? You better, Mia, come here. I'm gonna give her this because otherwise Siren's gonna come get it because Mia thinks that there's nothing in here. Look. Oh. Okay. Here you go. That was quick. Good job. Yay, pistachio! This is a microphone. Do you have anything to say? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> All right, macaws. All right, macaws, here we go. Gotta be quick with your knots, folks. Gotta be quick with it. Okay, otherwise you die. You guys can watch the macaws that they're enriching. I'm going to go change the bowl because they are now occupied. Miley's winning.
Thank you, Caleb. Thank you for the 18 months. Good job, birdies. Fine. South, thank you for the sub. Do parrots eat these in the wild? Um, they probably, no, not pecans, but they do eat nuts. Palm nuts. I don't know what other nuts grow in that, grow in the region they're from. Uh, technically Miley would never be in the wild though. She's a captive bred hybrid. Bird. What's the point of the paper if they just chew through the cup? Uh, extra textures. If they want to chew on the paper later, they can. Yeah, I was thinking macadamia nuts, but I don't. Oh, Brazil nuts. That's a good one. Yeah. Perhaps. Tasty paper. Is for three months. Thank you for the three months. All right. Wash your step. All right, let's give the chickens their enrichment. Oh no, it fell. Oh my god. Hello. Hello. What kind of snake was in here? It was a rat snake. Okay. It was eating, and it had like just eaten an egg. It looked insane. The egg looked like it was way too big. It's okay. He's gone now. He inhaled that egg. Yeah, there are mealworms in here. Mealworms and paper bits and napkin bits. We'll see what Oliver thinks about that. Oliver and Nugget and Henrique, our chicken crew. Hi. Hello, an 8K. Time to mic him up. Why the no smoking sign? Contractors. Here you go. You're gonna have to stand up, probably. What you can say on there. Why do they move in such a jerky manner? I just, I don't know. A little frame rate. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. fun. Are you having fun? Oh. <laughs> Henrique, 
is inside. They like it. Oh, siren. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Out we go. Back up we go. We didn't drive the UTV down here. Goodbye, Siren. Welsh gifted a tier one sub to Purple Martin. Welsh! Thanks for gifting. Gift subs in the channel. Thank you, Welsh. down. He's fine. He's just sat. Connor's working on something. I actually don't know what he's working on over there, but I can hear him. Should we go find out? I'm not going to walk through there because cords are going to get caught on the trees. Kayla was cleaning in the chicken coop while we were in there. She was in the inside part. What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> Surprise. Watering system. Oh, like sprinkler? Is the grass dead? Yeah. The grass in the fox enclosure is dead. It's growing? It is definitely growing. It's dead. The, the, I've reseeded it, so that is also what's growing. That, the reseeding is coming out. It's gonna be tough though. It's not gonna be like luscious green to tear it up, but we'll keep fighting it. Fight the good fight. It's so dead. Look! A horsey. Kind of listening to. Alrighty. Hello, Zach. Welcome to the stream, buddy. We are taking care of animals today. Doing enrichment. Hooray. The chins are out. Where are they?
there are more for you. Let's give the chins a treat. Wash my hands first. Chin treats. Timothy treats. Break in half. Look a chin. Little hands. Okay. <laughs> Another. Okay. Bye. -bye. Oh, radioactive chinchilla. Thank you for the twenty. <laughs> She's lagging. Yeah. Where's Moomin? I don't know. We just got snork. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she moves not at all and then all at once. <laughs> So brave. Bye. <laughs> the way she pushed off my leg, I could feel all of her weight. Efficient movement, high paying. She's got a buffer. I would love for the chinchillas to be able to hold things, but they don't want to. I'll show you. Make a little sign. Let's experiment. She's gone. Oh, oh, that's not a good place for them to be. They like chewing cords. He's in the cords. Hey, don't go in there. Go down. Not allowed. Okay, it's time. Snork. <sighs> She's hiding. <laughs> Hold this. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. 
Hold it. Yes, good job. <laughs> that was actually, that was the best she's ever done. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Incredible. Can we go again? Come here. Snork. Snork. Ma'am. Oh, she's parkouring. She's running. Oh no. Think of the sub. She's gone. I don't know where movement is. <laughs> All right, well, oh, there's moving. Oh, never mind. Still pretty sick. Amazing. Oh my God. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Uh, nice. All right, crows need enrichment. Thanks, Grumpy. Sticks. Tragic. I see a chinchilla. Should I give a chinchilla a stick? Never mind, he disappeared. Thank you for the sub. Mealworms. Being kind of crazy right now. Okay, I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna get pistachios. Do not. she find? Give this to the chinchilla. No. <laughs> she jumped it. She's gonna see that cable. Watch out, watch out. Crows. 
probably gonna be kind of scared of this, but Abbott loves sticks, and so does Coconut, so we'll see. This will be interesting. Show jumper chin. Yeah, that was pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Man, it got hot like within the past 20 minutes. The sun went. Hello? Clouds went um, away from the sun. Hello, little doubt. Hi, little doubt. I'm supposed to go to a party tonight. Are you going to that party tonight? Uh, yeah, actually. Flip and I are partying tonight, baby. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's been a long time. I just feel like I should. Mm -hmm. Um, because of who it is. But, like, I really don't want to go. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. I'm going to go, uh, to be a good friend, and then I'm probably going to leave. So, I'll see you for, like, a second. It's a little cringe. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> I don't know why it's struggling so much today. Usually it does like a smoother swap. <coughs> Flip said that he's gonna get smashed tonight is what, is what that was. Abbott! Would you rather this be on the ground or on the platform? Platform work. Here you go. Enrichment for you. He's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and then I said, I've never seen Flip drunk. So I might stay for that because it would be interesting. Go get it. There's pistachios in there. What are you looking at me for? I'm waiting for you to go do that. Vice, are you the guy that I talked to the other day? Or is it a different guy that's chatting right now? Like, who from Vice is typing at the moment? I think it's the same guy every time. The one you talked to via email was not me. So I did not have a call with you the other day, is what you're saying. You are not Samir. <laughs> Go over there. That was probably one of our producers. Okay. Just check in. People talk wow. Are you scared of it? Do you want? Look. Oh. There's pistachio in here. Uh, uh, He's scared of it. Uh, uh, Come on, you can do uh, it. Uh, There's no way around it to get uh, there, but it's... Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, it's scary. Uh, <laughs> Here, I'll move uh, it this way. They have more platform to land on. Uh, uh, you can do it. Come on. Uh, Come on. Uh, Jana, thank you for gifting. Uh, uh, Come on. Uh, uh, Look, it's a pistachio. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, He's pissed. Uh, 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 Look at
at all this platform to land on. Look at this pistachio. Okay, look at all this platform to land on. And the pistachios. you uh, oh jenna again thank you come on mealworm rumo thank you for the four months Set range. Thank you. Um, someone asked if they see it in color. Yes, uh, but the color spectrum that they see in, we think, is different from ours. They can probably see more colors than we can. Sea snake. Thank you for the two months. I put a mealworm on the platform uh, separate. Uh, he doesn't want uh, to go over there. Uh, he doesn't want to go. Uh, Stop screaming. Uh, Please, Abbott. Uh, Slim Jeff subbed for the first time. Uh, uh, I think the goats are uh, harassing the contractors. How can you tell a crow and raven apart? Um, a few ways. They're both corvids. So they look very similar. Crows are much smaller. Um, ravens are larger birds. Uh, ravens have a curved top beak and crows have a straight top beak. Crow. Raven. Um, crow's tails are straight across like this. Raven's tails are pointed. Ravens also have what's called a beard, just like more feathery, like uh, frilly stuff under under their uh, beak. You would know if you saw them next to each other. They actually look quite different. Dude, stop screaming! Voided for fifteen months. Have it. What if I gave you a stick? Do you want a stick? Do you want this? Do you want it over here? Here. No, the rest are over there. Guys. You may have to watch them explore this enrichment thing on the crow cam. Over here! Look at your stick! Your stick is here. And the mealworm. And the mealworm right there. You're so close. Interesting development. Oh, God. Oh, he got a bug that fell off. You come up. The rest are up here. Now he's walking. He's walking. He's a New Yorker. He's over here. He wants a stick. He wants a stick, but it's on the platform. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna put the crow cam on the Alveus channel. Um, if you want to have that open another tab, you can watch for when Abbott sorts this out because this is a lot. That's the plan. 
There's no crow cam. Why? What happened to the crow cam? Thank you for the five. It's gonna be less. Yeah, Point Crow brought them here. Alright, well. I don't know how long it's gonna take them to be interested in that. So. He's looking at the platform. Oh. There he is! Coconut might check it out for- Coconut's actually really brave with new things. It's just more scared of people than Abbott is. Coconut's- yeah, Coconut's gonna- Coconut's gonna get there before Abbott does. Hello, goat meal. Goat meal. I literally just said hi. What a bitch. Oh, sorry about that. Guys, flip sign to waiver. Don't worry about it. Ah, hey, stop. We can be friends. Everyone can be friends. Ow! Dude. Not the camera guy. Keep it moving. Is she headbutting you too? How about you just like walk in front of me? Now you can like walk backwards and I'll, I'll like film them. Or I'll manage them. Hey. 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 B. Not nice. Not nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh. You bitch. Where's Kylie? When you need- Ow! Fuck! Alright. Beetle! B! Stop! Connor! B! Ow! Why? <laughs> What the hell is this? What a nightmare this is. Don't! Oh my god, where's the squirt gun? Chat, we're bringing out the negative reinforcement. Saved. I need water. Flip, do you need a Red Bull? Do you need water? Excellent news. Actually, well, we have a lot of pop tarts. That's the news. Hmm. No contract. Nope. I don't think there's a contract. Connor goat hunting. I'm 
Nice. Where's the wild berry pop tarts? I've never had one of those, but I feel like I wouldn't even like them. Well, we got 120 pop tarts, so. Wicked. We'll get there one day. Wicked. I like strawberry pop tarts. That's the only pop tart that I like. You're eating in a Connor today? Yes, I am. Connor, what are you doing today? Huh? What are you doing today? Space. Yeah. About to go into pasture and work on the Stumpy food bowl and put some more fly traps up and then uh, install uh, two enrichment items. Well, I guess one enrichment item. Drop one off. Cut enrichment items. What? The ball. Yeah. That they lick. And install that. And cool. Then, um, there's that jolly ball. Yeah. What keyboard is that? My boyfriend made it for me. I have a bone to pick with that. He soldered all the keys. There's it's no beautiful. Function buttons. No F, F1, F2. I don't know how to use those. Yeah, they're, they're these ones. It just doesn't say. So all, and then one F1. Okay. That's not as right. I've also never even noticed because I never use those. I just use F4 and F5. What are those? We're in 8K today. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the street. I just saw some a bruise on my arm. Was it? Oh my god! I just saw it on screen. I was like, "What the hell is that?" Three inch max. Five four. Each four is three. Yeah. Alt F4. Alt F4 makes the computer go faster, guys. That would have gotten me three years ago. Not anymore. Nope. I do fine. You have that a lot better. Connor, that came off as condescending. It was. Wow, it is 8K? I know, crazy, right? We're crazy with the tech in here. Okay. Hey, who loses their lens caps? What? I don't even know what lens that is. The, your, this is your lens, right? For yeah, what? Came off this camera. Yeah. This is your lens for. I'm using my lens. Oh. Okay. Mm hmm. Len lens caps. Yeah. Ow. Um, so we need to do Fox enrichment. You can't stream an AK? Speak for yourself. <laughs> we need to do a uh, fox enrichment. We've done crow, parrot, chicken enrichment. And then, I don't know if it's chins or rats today. It's one of them. Um, if the chins are up, we can get the rats out. If you guys would like to see them. Then why, why is mine an AK? See, thank you. How did the stairs do that much damage? Uh, I don't know, because I tried to catch myself falling down. So, I don't know, it was all my body weight against wood, so, pain. I haven't counted all the Ks, but it might be eight. It's the second one, you guys. Hmm. It's not good. She's a little baby dude. She did a little baby. But she got shot. You got shot because you were being a little shit, actually. That's why. That's called deserved. Beetle doesn't headbutt me. She actually has before. But she doesn't headbutt me like she headbutts other people. She's actually really nice to me. Because she's like a baby. She 
she's a chilly little baby and she's a cheese. Have you seen a goat itch their face like a dog? It kind of looks stupid with their little foot, their little hooves. Do you need your feet done? No, they look really good. Good. Also, because goats are ruminants, um, and they have a lot of gas in their stomach, you can play them like a bongo drum. It's hollow. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. I love that goat. All right. Oh, no. My laugh. She had butts you, it'd be crazy. I'd be mad. Let's do the foxes. Hello. Oh, the rats. Yeah, I'll give them a couple pieces. They like apple. Keep on wow. Prezo resupped for 15 months. Oh my god, Prezo. Prezo? So I asked, never mind, I'll tell you about it later. I asked some people about you yesterday and uh, they have to go scan your socials and I haven't heard back. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. I have high hopes. Do you want a zucchini? No. Do you want a zucchini? Is it in her mouth? Where did it go? Is she holding it? She oh, she was holding it in her mouth. Did she just fall? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Chips ahoy. Are you okay? Oh, there she goes. It's okay. Uh, Chips gets outside time now every day. She just has to be uh, observed. Vanilla wafer. More apple? Yeah. <laughs> Do what? Untie? Chips oh, is on the ground. Yeah, 
Oh, circle, circle. Would you like a little carrot? Do you like a little pepper? No. Little hands. She is so cute. So cute. I don't know where Chips is. <laughs> right, do you feel okay about that? <laughs> Thank you for the sub. On top of the cage. Chips. Say, come here. She's out and about. <laughs> Noah's also out and about. Crows, parrots, chickens, chins, marmosets. We'll go do the foxes though because we haven't seen them today. I was just gonna give them ropes. Donk, who is it? Oh, random, a little out of the blue. Um, guys, we're gonna go give these to the foxes. They're not due for enrichment today. The foxes get enrichment every other day. Thank you. Can we find the goat? He's so cute. Careful what you wish for, chatter. No, we don't want to go find the goat, and they're not cute. Oh, oh! There's no way you're gonna be able to, you're gonna be able to see that. That's a Texas spotted lizard, which is stupid because it has stripes. But that's what it's called. They're fast as hell. There he goes. Right? Try catching one of those. I've tried. <laughs> Vroom! Should I go try to catch it right now? It's not worth. <laughs> are mice and rats the same? No, they're not. Mice are much smaller than rats, and they're a different species. Both rodents, though. There's a goat in the vestibule. It's Kylie! <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. The 
good goat. The best goat. You really don't like me. Flip, did you ever do um, color guard? Do you do marching band? No. Oh. Same. Just thought it would be a good conversation starter. What's this? That's what I just said. Marching band. What's the difference? When you march. Oh. Flip was in the band. Played the saxophone and clarinet. I was gonna guess. Why did you tell me that? Um, I played the cello in the sixth grade, and I played the recorder in the fourth grade. That's it. You look like you played the saxophone flip. How does that make you feel? I don't listen to chat anymore. Oh, he said he doesn't listen to you guys anymore. They all just... The backpack sucks. I'm gonna be honest, I actually don't know the difference. Hey, foxes! Foxes! I have something for you! Big stretch! Which one should I give Reed? The giraffe or the elephant? Wow! Comic F666 resubbed for months. Let's go. Thank you for the two months. Here, Reed. You get in the giraffe. For you. He likes it. <laughs> ben, would you like the elephant? Reed's chewing. Finn's gonna come get the elephant. Well, they tell you that Finn, that means scratch Finn. your neck. No. Here you go. Finn. For you. Elephant. Now Finn is gonna go bury it. Classic. Ben. Oh, no, he's throwing it around. No! No! There's, it, look, you can go get the elephant over there. It's over there. He doesn't know what pointing means. Oh God. There, he found it. Now Reed's gonna go bury the elephant and Finn is playing with the giraffe. Where's to find him? He's over there. Classic. This is what he did with it last time, too. He's really getting it in there. Your nose is a little dirty now, buddy. People talk, wow! Totally not fire pit subbed for the first time. 
Wow, he really did a great job. Totally not fire pit. Thank you for the sub. Why is he burying it? For later. Now he's going to go find reeds. Did they get to keep the toys this time? Honestly, now that they have a cam, I might leave them in here, yeah. I can come get them, like, at the end of the day, end of the day today. Finn, where's the other one? Oh. He's given up on his pursuit of the second toy and is now taking a bath break. You guys just have to watch him on the cams. Thanks, Mick. Drama. There's drama. <laughs> Is that nice, buddy? The black fox is from California. He was a confiscation from the uh, pet trade by California Department of Fish and Wildlife. They're both from California originally, actually. Are foxes more like dogs or cats? Dogs, they're uh, canines, canids. I mean, what's it native to? They're both European red foxes. Um, I don't know what Finn is doing right now. They're just hanging out. You coming back for it? He's having a drink. The gray one is a red fox. Yeah, they breed them to be different colors for the pet trade and the fur trade. So, uh, yeah, genetically he is a red fox. A camera, what do you think? Is there something over there? Maybe. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, what a fun surprise. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's the best day ever. He just found treasure. <laughs> cool, dude. You giraffe. Sometimes with, um, dead mice he'll throw them in the air and catch it as like a toy for himself i feel like i was thinking he was going to do that but now it looks like he's going to bury it again thank you for the five original angel oh the mouse is already dead um but yeah yeah he'll when we give him like whole prey he'll just take the mice and like throw it in the air as a toy and then eat it He buried it again. Reed is taking a nap. He has apparently successfully hid his elephant. He plays with beetles, he finds. Yeah. Why is there a fox pet trait if they're such bad pets? Why don't people just get dogs instead? Thank you for the eight months. That is an excellent question, Chatter. Um, and... Uh, it has many answers. One, I think people just want something that they can't have because it's very human. Um, two, people think that they're cool and exotic and, like, special. Um, so they think that they're cooler than dogs. Three, he... Dude, you already... It's not in there anymore. That's really interesting. Uh, 
That was interesting. Um, uh, they, oh, oh my God, it's right there. <laughs> Why? Oh my God. <laughs> Crazy. Treasure. <laughs> um, oh no, please. Hours of fun. <laughs> Uh, also, there's a lot of videos online. Um, the internet, you film him, not me, I'm boring. Um, the internet has spread a lot of um, misinformation about exotic animals as pets, that they're, like, really cool, that they're really cute, that they're easy to take care of, that they're really fun, and, like, whatever. And so people see videos of the best of exotics in captivity and then think that they can have them themselves, which is not true. Oh god, here we go again. <laughs> How did you domesticate them? Um, so domesticate and tame mean different things. Domestication is a process that happens over generations, over years. Um, Duncan is a domesticated rabbit breed. He's uh, no longer a wild hare. They're completely separate species. Um, our chickens, they're domestic chickens. They're not red jungle fowl anymore. They're, um, they're a different species. And um, these foxes are not domesticated per se uh, because they're both European red foxes. Reed um, is, was born in the wild, um, so he is quite literally a wild, not domesticated red fox. Uh, but they have become more tame in captivity. Tame is just a behavior. Um, there's just a, a collection of behaviors and they're, they're uh, more comfortable with people, but they're not domesticated. How do you prevent them from digging out? Um, there's wire buried around this entire enclosure. Um, and they do most of their digging underneath this, uh, underneath this den situation that we made them. Reed is very confident in his hiding spot. He's almost getting a little cocky. Finn is uh, checking his last hiding spot really quick. Realized that it's not in there. Um, will he remember his most recent hiding spot? We will see. <laughs> They've never tried to escape now. Uh, we don't do rehab and release at Alveus. No, all of the animals that we have at Alveus are non-releasable. These ones would not survive in the wild, no. Uh, they've been... Finn was born in captivity, um, raised in captivity, uh, and Reed was raised in captivity. So they've, they've been under the care of people their entire lives. Plus, because they're European red foxes, technically it's illegal to release them because they're non-native. Can they go outside? They don't go out of this enclosure right now, but we do have a training center. It's 50 by 30 feet. Uh, this enclosure is 40 by 26 feet. And so they will go to that training center for extra time um, outside and enrichment time. Sorry, I don't have a chat right now. It's um, not connected. I'm reloading. Oh. Not looking good. Connecting. Connected. Hello. Hi. Is this all the space they need? 
Um, question with more layers than you think. So this is far beyond um, the minimum requirements that we have to meet. Oh no, he found it. He found Reed's elephant. Um, far beyond the minimum requirements that we're that we're that we need for Texas Parks and Wildlife and um, U.S. Fish and Wildlife standards, but um, could they? Uh, would they be happy with more space? I'm sure they would. Um, this this is the size we went with because it's the budget that we had, and we figured it would be a good size uh, for them to to be as happy as possible in captivity. Um, but more is always better. Wild is obviously always better. But for these animals being non-releasable, their choices are either being euthanized or remaining in captivity for the rest of their lives and serving as educational ambassadors. And so we do the best that we can. Um, I am really proud of this enclosure, though. This is Finn. He's a European red fox. Yeah, they do burrow underground. Looks like it hurts his nose. It doesn't seem like it would be comfortable, like to... It's rocky, but I guess he's fine. Is he going to remember where that is? I think so. <laughs> I think so. The goats aren't in the Twitch overlay because they're not educational ambassadors. They just live here. They don't belong to Alveus. They belong to me. Alveus is not quite a direct translation, um, but it's Latin for reservoir. Because I used to say Twitch is an untapped reservoir for doing good. He smells something under there. I wonder if there's something buried there. He's sitting in there. No, we don't brush them. Um, they let Kayla and Ella, and Flip apparently has his pet uh, Finn as well, but they're not much for a lot of contact. They like interacting, but um, not brushing, not a lot of petting. They're both men. They're both male. Where's the giraffe? It's uh, over by Reed over there. Are the trees real? They are, yeah. We left we left some trees in here. There's three, well, no, four oak, one cedar. Five oak, one cedar. Nice. Do they cuddle with each other? No, not really. Um, they sleep close to each other sometimes, but not with each other. I've never heard a horse that close. You hear that, Flip? Mm -hmm. Are they required to have food present 24-7? Does it improve their behavior? No, they get fed um, once a day and their food gets weighed out, they get a combination of um, a formulated fox kibble that has all the vitamins and nutrients they need, and uh, fruits, veggies, occasional whole prey, occasional insects. Oh my god! What a fun surprise! Yay! An elephant! Who put that there? <laughs> That's what he does with mice. Dead ones. <laughs> Go again. Yeah, I don't think that... I think that he could do this all day. I don't think that he's gonna, like... I don't think it's gonna become dangerous. But we'll leave the fox cam on so you guys can... Oh my god. He's too chunky. <laughs> Thanks, Stolen. 
the heck? <laughs> what just happened? Do they smell bad? Yes! They do. They smell like skunks. Um, they're really musky. Kind of smells like weed. Kind of smells like pee. Oh, uh, he went back to look at that spot he just dug up. That is so crazy that he does that every time. Oh, God. Dead mice, you don't do any live feeding. No, we don't feed anything live here except for insects, crickets, um, and mealworms. We feed live. The longer I watch this stream, the less I would... I... I get why would anyone want these guys as a pet. Dude, that can be like an aneurysm reading that. Um, right, yeah, so interesting concept. Uh, I think that the people that watch my streams the most... Oh my gosh, what a fun surprise. The people that watch my stream the most and um, watch how they streams the most, I think they may have the most respect for these animals and they love them a ton, but uh, the more you see of them, the less you want them as a pet. Um, I think that's the problem with short form content online um, that has really, really affected the online pet trade is that you see clips and they're cute clips and that's all you get and you get no other context. It's really dangerous. People make impulse decisions off of those cute clips. But the more that you see them, uh, the more you're like, damn, no. <laughs> Never get parrots, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Any of your animals eat roaches? No, we don't feed out the roaches. Alright, good job, buddy. It'll... It'll... Nope. Thought about it. Just a little scratch. Okay. <laughs> All done. <laughs> Do they bury things in the wild? Yeah, they do. Oh, checking that spot. Nope, you moved it. Wonder where he's going now. Gray fox, he's a European red fox. Where could it be? Have a little... Peej? Thank you for showing them. Oh, poop! The other thing about foxes is that they mark everything! And anything new in their enclosure, they will pee or poop on. So if you've never seen a fox poop, now you have. Are they babies? No, they're uh, two and three. Uh, Finn is two and Reed is three. I also pee on my groceries. That's really gross. Don't do that. Cute. Okay, Connor was right. There actually is some grass coming up, I'm gonna be honest. I thought it was all dead. How often does the poop need to be cleaned? Every day. Um, this enclosure gets cleaned every day as well. All the bowls get washed and sanitized every day. All the poop is removed every day. Um, and uh, it's scrubbed as necessary every day. He seems bored. He needs buddies. He has one. Right behind him. It's Finn that you're looking at. And then behind him is Reed. Um, so in the past, I've taken toys uh, because I don't want them to ingest fibers um, because that's really bad for their digestive system and can be really dangerous. But because we have live cams now, I'm going to give it a shot leaving them in here today because chat can watch them. Um, and I'll take them out before the end of the day. Oh, 
I see in, I saw you ask that question before. It's too big of a question for me to answer. It'd have to be more specific than that. But also I can't give you like permit regulations off the top of my head from California. They're, they're much more stringent than they are in Texas. I can tell you that much. Um, but I don't have them memorized. He's not a gray fox. He's a European red fox, but he is gray in color. Is a pet a no-no? Yeah, foxes as pets are a no-no. They're not meant to be pets. Why are they called red then? Uh, the species is a European red fox. Um, it's uh, like, imagine you have a really, really dark golden retriever, and it's not golden in color, but it's still called a golden retriever. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. I don't know what their lifespan is. I think the 20, 15, 20? Fact check me. I've never been bit by... Ah, that's not true. Um, I got bit by Reed a little bit. But it was just like a tooth in the pinky. It was not a big deal. And it wasn't like a... It was just like a... It was an accident. He's nippy when you feed him. And he grabbed my hand instead of food. 12 in captivity. 17 in captivity. Yeah. Just like 10 to 15. Can you pet him? He doesn't really like being pet. Alright, you guys over it? Are you over it, Flip? We've been in here a long time. Is Texas too hot for them? Yeah, sometimes. Um, that's why they have an indoor room that has... Oh, wait, nope. Oh. Is there something in there? Hmm? Debated? Twice? Hmm? Oh my god, I think there's something in there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. A toy. What a fun surprise. <laughs> now I go put it somewhere else. <laughs> Where is he? Is he under? Oh no. He's over there. What happened to the other fox? Nothing. He's sleeping. He's so bored, damn. That comment itself didn't have that much substance, but I feel like it comes from an attitude that um, I've talked a little bit about my stream, about on my stream before. Um, these foxes get enrichment every other day, but they do get interaction with people every day, and they have a companion in each other. They have a pretty large enclosure, which is the best that we can do. Admittedly, is this the best life that they could have? Absolutely, freaking lutely not. These foxes being in the wild where they belong would be the absolute best. Um, but they're non-releasable for several reasons. And so their choices are either to remain in captivity, we give them the absolute best life possible, um, and keep them from being bored, um, and keep them happy and keep them comfortable, um, or they have to be euthanized. So um, when you look at animals in captivity and you don't like it or you don't think that they're as happy or you want to see them in the wild, good, that comes from a good place. Um, they, of course, should be in the wild, um, but most of the animals that you see in captivity are non-releasable. So it's either euthanasia, 
or we do the best that we can here. And so that's what we do. Somebody asked if it's too hot for them in Texas, and I was talking about this room that's behind Finn right now. Um, they have air conditioning in that room, so when it gets really hot in the summer, um, they will go in there and have AC. Peach. He did injure his back leg at some point. Yeah, he broke a back leg when he was a baby. Why can't they be in the wild? So Finn was born in captivity, raised in captivity. Um, he was born to be sold for the pet trade. So he doesn't know how to take care of himself. Reed was born in the wild but was orphaned, and so he was raised by people. Same problem, doesn't know how to take care of himself because he was raised by people from, he, from pretty, not birth, but from like a couple weeks old. He was a baby when we got him at the zoo. Um, so that's number one. Number two, it's illegal to release them because they're... European red foxes, so they're technically not native. We're not allowed to release invasive species. Um, so, oh my god. He saw it first. He found a butterfly. He was chasing it. Um, so, a couple reasons why they're non-releasable. But yeah. You're in Texas? Yes! Yeehaw. Anyway, I don't think they would like swimming. If it was up to you and it wasn't illegal, would you release them? No, I don't think that these two would make it. <laughs> they've, they've only ever been under human care and have only ever been fed by humans. Um, they've never killed live prey. Uh, they've only ever been fed frozen thawed prey. I, I don't think that they would make it, so no, I would not release them. I think it would be very irresponsible. Fox species native in North America. Uh, gray foxes. We have those on the property. You can see them on the pasture cam. They're little guys, though. They're, like, without the tail. Like, I don't know. With the tail, like, they'll... I don't know, something like that. All right, the foxes, good little segment. We were in there a while, but I it, like, it didn't feel that boring. It just felt kind of chill. I hope you don't mind. But yeah, if you could watch on the live cams, I don't think, if you see him like starting to shred it, let me know and I'll come up and grab it. But it seems like he's just gonna keep moving it <laughs> from place to place. Bye buddy, have fun. education it's funny like there's a bit of irony in i saw this i saw this video the other day where this guy was saying like to the people that thank you to the people that feed wildlife um like it, it just comes from such a good place because they love animals so much like they, they're like so excited about about being connected with these animals and like uh, getting them to like them and whatever um it's just like a lack of education but those are the people that could really do some wonderful things for wildlife. It's the same thing as people that raise baby birds that they find and then fuck them over because the birds get imprinted and then uh, they release them and then they die. <laughs> um, it's, it all comes from a good place. This, I, this is a segue from being upset at seeing animals in captivity or shitting on people that have animals in captivity. Uh, they just want to see them wild. Um, that's why education is so important. You know, because all the people involved are just people that want to help animals, you know. Imagine if we all knew how. That'd be crazy. Who's behind the camera? Flip. They're tripping a little bit. It's okay. You guys will be okay. I can't, why is this? I feel like the stream is going by really slow. We finished all the enrichment. It's only been three hours. Time to, Connor. Do I read into you at two? Sure. Whatever. 
three normally? Time's going really slow today. I just gotta eat lunch and then I'm running around. Okay. When you put things. Oh, that's what that is. Yep. Instead of paying $120 for a metal one for the training. <laughs> cool, okay. As for doing Winnie's feet. for a sec. Still a little tall, do you think? I measured her. Okay. I left her a foot up in 16 inches. Okay. We'll see. I can always lop it if I need to. It's easy. Chins. 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 Or, uh, for a hawk, it's about like two and a half inches wide. Yeah, that's four inches wide. Na 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 na. Oh, are you doing chins right now? Oh. Trying to. Chat, is there anything that you would like to do? Because we're done. <laughs> We didn't even have to give Fox's enrichment today. So. Winnie likes to do enrichment. Of course she does. Yay. Nice. Yep. Stompy bath. Wow. Okay. It's overwhelming people saying stompy bath. Do we have a bath? I ordered one a while ago. Did it break already? I don't know. I think we were going with some. Because each one of those is like little. Let's give it a shot. But you can try. We'll try. this into the new Y connector. Just what? do that two or three times around. Um, two or three, three times around this part of the Y connector. Okay. And then you can put that in without it leaking. Okay. Lead me to it. Beetle! You hear her, where is she? And the potential vehicular goat slaughter. Huh. Yeah. 
is nice. Nice dough. All right. Beetle knows her name. Yep. She's the only goat that does. What does that say about her, guys? Everyone thinks Beetle's the worst. I disagree. I think she's a freaking genius. But she does need more water. Smart goat. Tiny stompy bath. For you. <laughs> Thirsty. some water ma'am ma'am she's done good oh my god Connor you guys get it now beetle is just like the sweetest best goat ever and Connor hates her how do you tell the difference between Kylie and beetle one of them's a jackass and one of them's not beetle has a white spot on her head Justice for me, doll. God, it's hot today. All right, guys, I have no hopes for that. Holy shit, yeah, I have zero hopes for that pool. This shit is not gonna work. <laughs> To be honest, I was not listening when Connor said this with the hose. Hello. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I think he said to tape it. Tape this bit. Which, like, okay, I, I don't know why. Seems like it's not gonna do anything. It's not even tape. It's cringe. Yeah. It's good. Oh no. I've fucked it a bit. Thread tape to seal it. Oh. You're going the wrong direction? Oh, shut up. There's no right direction when it comes to threading, you guys. There's no way that it matters. <laughs> They're actually it, dude. This is, uh, 
Men are so easy. Okay, we're getting the pool. The pool that definitely has no holes in it from the back of the barn. Yep, looks good to me. That does not look like a breach, if you ask me. I think that's fine. Um, good news, uh, we have a friend. One alive, one dead. Um, here's the dead one. Here's the dead one. Okay, all right. He doesn't want to hang out, but it's dead. Um, and here's the alive one. This is an arachnid as well. Oh God, okay, he's really fast. Oh my God. <laughs> there he is. I was gonna show him on my hand, but he was not about that. Oh, the pool needs to be closer. Winnie, what the hell is that? The chicken sees it. Here he comes. All right. It's pretty warm today. No! Leave the cow alone. No! Stompy. God. Will you focus? Holy shit. There's a task at hand. Take a bath. Spread positivity. Look, water, look, water. The cow's not doing anything to you. Focus, focus, focus. Oh my God. Welcome to Negativity Friday. Remember when Stompy would just enjoy taking a bath and was nice? Do you remember this, Stompy? Oh my god. I'm sorry, Winnie. It's crazy, like, Winnie's doing nothing. Like, she's literally just standing there, and Stompy gets so mad that she's there. It's fine, Flip. It's just... Winnie's gonna have to move or something before Stompy's okay with this setup. This pool sucks. <laughs> Get her, Winnie. Get her. No, actually, I don't think the pool's really, is it leaking? I only saw that hole. Unless this is all from... No, I don't think it's leaked. Stompy doesn't hurt Winnie. She's just really annoying. And Winnie doesn't really care. 
staff. The bath time. Stompy bath. It's a big snipe. <laughs> a snipe. Mods change category. Thanks, Rose. Yay, Stompy Bath! Submarine! Chat, do you think that this pool is okay? <laughs> I will say, it does... It does look like been through two summers and is southern. So it's like a vibe. The hose is not okay. Admit the hose is fine. It's actually not leaking. I'm insane with whatever that tape is. You guys were all wrong about threading. Admit you were wrong. That's the worst pool in Texas. What the hell? That's so mean. Oh, sorry, Snobby. You wrap the tape around the threading of the hose. I did do that. What's the problem? Do they want me to wrap it around this hose? Who cares? If that would have been impossible. That's a female part. What do you mean? Why would I do that? You want me to put the tape inside that hose? Maybe the wrong threading? Maybe you guys are just looking for something to say so you sound smart and you sound like you know what you're doing. When you don't. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. It's not leaking at all. Actually. Happy Stompy. Yay. All right, we jumped up over 8K. For April Fool's Day, I should just give Stompy a bath the whole day. Do a 10 hour stream in the pool as a hot tubs category. Title, trying something new. Oh, that's tomorrow. Wow, that was a lot of water. Can you guys imagine if your dogs liked baths this much? How easy it would be all the time? Why aren't dogs like this? Some do, I've never had a dog that likes baths. Good job, Stomp. Guys, Stompy's fully saturated, I think. 
Do you want to eat those? No. <laughs> Watering the chicken. Yay, Stumpy. Is she allowed to eat edible glittery food? I have never, no, we've never given her edible glitter. I don't know if that's safe, it's probably not. Hello, Westman. We're watering our emu so that she'll grow big and strong. But we're also farming coomers. Sorry, I would have put the pool in, like, the cam's vision, but the hose wasn't long enough. I put it close to the hose. Oh no, there's been a breach. There's been a breach. <laughs> it's overflowing! Oh no! Um, but I guess it doesn't matter because you guys are on fox cam all day, huh? You're on fox watch. Babysitting. You wanna eat it? No. Uh, Fox will be fine while Connor's streaming. I'll go up there and look at him every now and then. It'll be fine. The zoo that I got Stompy from uh, just hatched out 14 more emu eggs the way that Stompy was hatched out. They have emus that won't sit on the eggs, so they incubate them and then they have a bunch of emus. And they're like, you want more? <laughs> and I said no. Stompy's imprinted has only ever been around people. He's not raised with other emus. I have no idea what he would do. I don't want to risk it. Sounds dangerous and like not worth. Plus, we would have an emu. Stompy took a really long time to grow. It couldn't be introduced to Stompy until it was an adult, which took Stompy like a year, right? To get full size. Not even, uh, more than a year actually. Um, and so it would have to be like, it would have to live in like the training center or something crazy uh, until it could come out in the pasture. And I would hate to have that weird like interim temporary situation. Is that yummy water? No. Oh. Yay, stomp! 
You can really see Stompy's little wings when he's all saturated. Submarine! I right, am gonna turn the water off because now it's actually just on overflow. But Stompy will probably continue bathing. Do you like it? Is this the pool you're gonna sit in with Erob? Chat, do me a favor. When Erob comes here, um, I think it's the 12th he's coming here to do the stream. Don't tell him that Stompy will bathe if there's not a person in the pool with her. Cause I'm just gonna tell him that someone needs to be in here for him to, oh! for him to bathe. Wait, I should message him before I forget. Bring, he's coming on the 12th, bring a swimsuit. I'm gonna have him do that, and then I'm gonna have him muck the pasture. I'm gonna have him turn the dumpster, so all the manure in the dumpster, um, he'll stir it so that the core is on the outside so it doesn't get too hot and doesn't catch on fire. Um, and then I'm gonna have him stick mealworms in cardboard for the crows, one by one. Hello, chicken. It is really too bad that they emptied the dumpster. But he's coming on the 12th, so there'll be plenty of shit in there. Take out a wheelbarrow full every day. Two weeks? Yeah. No. It'll be it'll be plenty. Okay, saturated bird. Look at the wing. Wet wing. It's just a it's so small. Like it's so weird. It's like a finger. It is like a finger. Look at the nail. Actually a finger. I don't actually like it like that. It's kind of gross. Yeah, I don't like when it's wet. I like it better when he's dry. <laughs> Poor Winnie. Winnie's got a hose hat. She's hiding. What do you think, lady? Living. Don't say Stompy's ugly. That's not true. Stompy's a beautiful bird. <laughs> Dude, that actually hurt way more than it should have. She got my. I just got winged in the bicep. Did you hear that? Holy shit, that was so much force, Stompy. Why so much force? Look, new feather growth. New chicken feathers. That's how they grow. It's also really gross. Flip, don't say that. Baby! I haven't seen Kayla in the Really? Yeah. Oh my god, oh, I saw that. I didn't see the picture, I saw that she texted. We're going to the session yard, folks. The hose worked great, but apparently I did it wrong. No, okay. Oh shit, it was taped in. Did you just see this text? Yeah. You want to call or do you want me to? I'll call 
They knocked over oh, the yeah. post. I, I was going to go look at it. I think I can just prop it back up. But they bought us a new one before. Are you serious? Yeah. The first time they came out here, they bought us a new gate remote. Dumpster people knocked over a um, post with our keypad. Kayla, can we come in here? Try, Mod, you can change the category back. <laughs> but I'm so glad there's, oh my god, 10,000 of you here. It's so sick of you. Toast is having an enrichment day. Chat, are we on the front page? Tell me we are. Is he having fun? Sorry, friend. Oh my god! Look at him go! For a little while, he just like sat and enjoyed the sun, and then the sun went away, so now he's trying to like... Have you taken... Oh yeah, you did take pictures. Yay! Amazing. It's a nice hot day, you guys. Stompy is very happy. But that pool is pretty fucked. <laughs> Wait, he's fast. Keep up, Flip. <laughs> Tall grass. I watched a spider like crawl towards him and then like <laughs> turn around and high tail it. And he's like, nope. Nope. I left those rope toys in with the foxes. Chat's watching them though. Um, but Finn hit, buried it like four times and then would just find it and get so excited and then bury it again and then find it and get really excited. <laughs> He's having a great time. Why does he have legs? Um, I don't really know how to answer that question. It, it, helps him get places and do what he needs to do, you know? He does look like a snake, yeah. Um, they're both reptiles, but he's a lizard. He's a skink, a blue-tongued skink. And he's cute. <laughs> His legs are small, though. He's also on a mission, yeah, that's true. He's always on mission. Oh my god, he's fast! That would be fun and exciting. Little legs. Sorry. He's beautiful. Sunshine. Sit in the sunshine. Just sit. Yeah, bask. Oh, God damn it. Wow. He's so majestic. Look at him go. So majestic. Do you think I should bring Noodle out here? I don't know enough about it. I don't know. She thinks she'd like it. I think she'd like it. Sorry. I need to like, stutter my way through that. <laughs> I heard what you said the first time. But, uh, because it's so new to toast. Yeah. She and might like the toast smells. About his body language to be like, he's comfortable. He's right, right. Unsure. Yeah. We don't want to scare him. But the sun must feel nice. You could stop and enjoy it. Stay. And <laughs> it's a lot, huh? It's very new. You're doing a good job. So much today. My chat died. Chat's back. 8K is incredible. Hooray. 
Good job, Flip. Would he survive in the wild? Probably also not. All, uh, all of our animals are non-releasable. Toast was born and raised in captivity as well. Um, he's also Australian, so we certainly couldn't like let him go. How warm is it there today? I don't know. It feels warm, but like not crazy. Yeah, like 80, 83, but feels hotter. Because the humidity, probably. The humidity is like 55, I think. 55% humidity. 80 was 70% humidity? Are you serious? That seems like a lot. How do you know he's Australian if he can't talk? <laughs> right. um, yeah, they're, uh, they're native to Australia. Do him and Stompy have problems with each other? They would, but they've never met. Stompy would not like him, I don't think. Why is his tongue blue? Um, it's called a dimatic display, D-E-I-M-A-T-I-C, and it uh, is to scare off things that want to eat him. And be like, hey look, I'm poisonous, or I'm venomous. But toast is not either of those things. If he gets really threatened, he can stick his tongue out really big and flap it around, it looks crazy, and it's blue. Emus do lay eggs. Yes. He did not eat any Smurfs. So he's a liar. Yeah, technically. Like, well, I guess, yeah. He's a lizard, a skink. More specifically, a blue-tongued skink. Even more specifically, I wish he was giant. It would be kind of cool if he was giant. If he was like alligator-sized, big toast. I'm not calling him a skank, it's a skink, S-K-I-N-K. Hello, Connor eats pants. Flip. Shall we? Toast. Enjoy your enrichment time. Kayla, enjoy your supervising enrichment time. <laughs> I want a Pop Tart. Do you want a Pop Tart? Sure. Dude, if we got a Pop Tart sponsor, can you imagine? It'd be so sick. They're so, have you ever put it in the toaster? Yeah. Really? Is it good? Not. I've never done it. Really? Never. Frozen. No. Really Freeze them? Oh my god. That'd be crazy. Chat. Have you guys ever put it in the toaster? Eye hazards. And my safety goggles. They're better not toasted? Oh. Flip said you're lying. He actually called you a filthy liar just now. I'm using hand sanitizer. I don't feel like washing my hands. I feel fine about it. Hands. Fine about it. My immune system's crazy. Chat, be honest. When was the last time you can remember me being sick? I just don't get sick. That's not true. I do get sick sometimes. 
sick. Okay. Flip. What kind of pop tarts do you want? We have blueberry, cookies and cream, brown sugar, and strawberry. Okay. This one's open, so I'm giving you this. Yay! Chat. We're taking a quick pop tart break slash water break slash Red Bull for flip break, and then, um, and then I'm gonna. And then I'm gonna bring Noodle, I think, out to the session yard. I have no idea how that's gonna go, but it's worth a shot because it's a warm day. So she might like it. Whoa. Connor's computer, will you shut up? Shut up. Finn, show yourself. We haven't seen you for a while. His name's Flip. <laughs> Look, it's Flip right there. Go like that. There he is. There he is. Chat, what do you think about today so far? How you doing? Having a good time? Having a blast? I dropped on 3,000 viewers. <laughs> Men only want one thing. Stompy bath. Thank you for the five! Hassan's femboy masseuse. Thank you so much for the five. Not 9.6, I'm at... I'm at 6.6. Oh, maybe mine's broke. Sorry for saying that about you guys. <laughs> Glad you're still here. <clears throat> so, if you guys don't know who Noodle is then, if you're all here, Noodle is our carpet python. She's an eight foot long Australian snake. I'm gonna grab her and uh, bring her out to the session yard and let her do some exploring and see what she does out there. Never brought her out there before. I brought her out on a perch to Ella's balcony before. And I brought her out for exploration walks before and like have let her go on the porches and stuff. But she's never been in the training in the session yard. So, I don't know. Five tier one subs. Cam, higher. Think of the five. The pop up interface is great. The extension is pretty sick, huh? Wicked. Noodle eats rats. Mm. Sometimes guinea pigs. Will Noodle eat the lizard? Uh, she totally would. That's why we're taking a pop tart break and waiting. Until Kayla's done with toast in there. Zed Ben, are you being serious right now? Because I have to leave for Conservation Uncharted then. Actually, so does Flip. It's really bad timing. Why? It's uh, Jimmy's birthday and Trader Clash. Church. And one of our friends might be possibly... In Sorry. Flip's coming out to Massachusetts with me to do Conservation Uncharted, so he has to miss his friend's birthday and Creator Clash. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we also have to film a YouTube video. We have to go on a boat. Me and Flip both get really seasick. So we're both going to be throwing up the whole time. He's going to love it. We're doing a YouTube video on 
uh, North Atlantic right whales with the uh, whale and dolphin conservation. Have gone to a lot of zoos. What conservation they're doing in Massachusetts? Whale and dolphin conservation. Um, the stream, we're going to go look at some live sea lions and then uh, we're going to do an external necropsy on a dolphin carcass. So you guys are going to see a dolphin very close, but it's not going to be alive. But we're going to learn about threats that dolphins and whales face in the wild um, by doing that necropsy it's for education. The blow up thing, yeah. And then they have a blow up life size North Atlantic right whale that we'll be filming with the video. Frozen or recently dead? Frozen. Any plans to bring dolphins to LVS? Definitely not. It sounds like a lot of money. Do you not toast the Pop-Tarts? No, I've never done that. Are you okay? I feel fine. Never? I've never done that. No. I've only ever eaten them out of the package. Have you guys ever put a Pop-Tart wrapper in the microwave? Don't. But it looks like fireworks. Says right here, do not microwave on the package. Yeah. I put a dry rag in the microwave when I was younger. <laughs> I don't want kids. <laughs> Why did you do that? I put my iPad in the microwave to charge it. That makes sense. That I understand. Can you see the training center from here? Mm -hmm. See Kayla? I don't know. Oh. What? What? Come by how much I like that chocolate pepper. Oh. He said surprise me, so I gave him a cookies and cream one, and this morning he told me he didn't like chocolate. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me to get you a different one? Because that'd be rude. That's actually insane. Surprise me, and I didn't want to be rude. You're, that's actually cringe of you. You should've just been like, Maya. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my hands. You can come with me. Um, I'm gonna fill up my water, wash my hands, and we're gonna come back and hopefully get noodle. I don't know. I don't know what Kayla's. Kayla's, how long she's gonna have them in there. Okay.
<laughs> Flip, I'm actually mad at you. Why? Because you didn't tell me. What am I supposed to say? That is, what do you mean, what am I supposed to say? Can I get a different one? Maya, I don't like chocolate. I asked for a surprise. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad because you're actually being a pussy. Not, not asking, not telling you to feel bad. I don't understand. Okay, I feel like you're projecting right now. Oh, I was gonna. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> it's gonna wash my hands. You know you should feel bad. No. Also, why are you washing your hands after you? Because I'm gonna pick up noodle. Okay. <laughs> Duh. Come back in here with toast. She's. It looks like she's leaving now. Yep. Mm hmm. Good timing. Alright. Let's go get noodle. Noodle! She likes when I talk to her like that. I'm kidding. She doesn't give a fuck. Noodle! Don't scare her. I'm not scaring her. He's exaggerating. Okay, um, I'm gonna give you the chat phone because I am gonna have a lot of snake to manage. Chat, you're with Flip for a second. Hi, chat. Be nice. Ma'am, would you like to go for an adventure today? Hello? Hello? Can you go for an adventure today? Don't, you don't have to look at me like that. Okay. See, this is when I would use a snake hook just to get her out. But, um. All right. We have not cleaned that snake hook yet, so. Snakey! Noodle's turn. Thank you for the 24 months. All right, guys. Beetle, not the time. It's just not the time. Oh my God. Goats, oh my God. Oh my god. Doubts! Sorry, Flip. It happens. Hey, hey, relax. You're gonna scare the snake. Fuck, I didn't see it. Oh no. She got him, boys. No goats in this training center. Yeah, that sucks. Sorry about that. <laughs> Noodle, we're in the training center. What do you think? You know, she actually doesn't feel like that much snake right now. This feels fine. Do you want to start on this perch? Uh, no. I don't want her to... I don't know if she could climb with the wire. But I don't... I'd rather not risk it. I'm going to put her... I'll let her go to the ground if she wants to. But, um... I want her to like, for that to be an option, you know? Cause I figure she'll like being up high more. Here you go. What do you think? Okay, I'm wrong. She wants down, no? Nah. Let's put this in the sun. Snake. I lost a lot of snake there. I take the chat back. 
Hello, folks. Oh, I got cocoa fiber in my skin. That's the worst. Yay! Noodle enrichment. Wait, she may have just decided she liked the sun. Don't you Burma ban Megane supped for the first time? Don't. Don't upper. Uh, don't. Don't you perma ban me again. Thank you for the sub. Man, that was hard to read. Why is her forehead so big? I don't know. She has a sad face on her forehead. Exploring. Oh, you're talking about my forehead? That is genetic. Yay. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Beep, 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 beep. Ba, 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 beep. Do you show feeding time for snakes? Yeah, um, but Noodle only eats uh, once every other week, so uh, it doesn't happen often. But there are clips of her eating. Someone could probably link it. Yeah, the sad face on her head. <laughs> I don't think she'd move very fast on the ground, only to like get away. Noodle, we don't know how old she is. She's at least 10, though. Have fear of snakes. That's okay. A lot of people are afraid of snakes, but most of them um, are not that dangerous. Noodle is not a venomous snake. Only 20% of snake species are venomous. I've never been bit by a snake. I've handled lots of snakes in my life. People pop, wow. All They're nice. The sub for the first time. Thank you for the sub. Oliver Close. Of those 20%, how many can kill you? 7%. Good question. Does it constrict? Yeah, this, she is a constrictor, uh, but she only constricts if she is uh, planning on eating something. Eating uh, what she's constricting. 7% is high enough for me. Uh, you are nine times more likely to get struck by lightning in the U.S. Um, and die that way than you are to die via a snake bite. Is she full size yet? Uh, I think. She could do a couple more feet, but I'm not sure that she will get larger than she is now.
Is her bite force as bad as a macaw? I, I don't know the answer to that question, but I would imagine macaws are far greater. Um, that's just a guess, though, I, guess, I suppose. Can you feed her right now? No, she's not due to be fed. She's just hanging out. The biggest animal that she could eat is probably like a small rabbit. Um, we feed her large rats and guinea pigs. Are snakes soft on the belly and not slimy? Yeah, they're pretty oh, soft. Wow. Almost like silky Steph feeling. For Steph, thank you for the two years. Thanks for using Twitch for conservation education. Thank you so much. She eats once every other week. What range of emotions and empathy do you think she has? Hard question, big question. Um, really hard to know, we don't know. Um, it's really hard to read a snake. It's nothing like reading a dog because they have a really uh, heavy and set occipital ridge like where her eyes are, they're just set in place, you know? And dogs kind of have an eyebrow situation where they have a lot of expressions that we can read. Snakes, it's pretty much impossible to read her face. Um, you just have to read her by her body language, how fast she's moving, how tense she is, if she's hissing, um, stuff like that. Uh, I don't know how to answer the emotions and empathy one though. I just, I just, it's really hard to know. I thought snakes with cat-like irises are venomous versus dot irises are not venomous. Uh, no, that's a myth. That's, that's not necessarily true. Same thing with it's a myth that all, sh all snakes with triangular heads are, are venomous. It's also not true. How fast can she move? I don't know in terms of miles per hour, but I've never seen her go very fast. Looks like she has fangs. Uh, is that for protection? It's for hunting. Wow. She does they have fangs. Up for the first time. Have you been hurt by an animal on stream? Yeah, I guess. The goats. A bit by Reed. How do you know she's female? Um, she was living at a zoo. They told us that she's female, but to find out, um, you need like, like they're like they kind of look like prongs because um, they don't have external genitalia. Um, so a vet has to do that, or someone that knows how to do it, I, I don't know. So I just took their word for it when they said she was female, but I don't know for absolute certain. Log Spirit, thank you so much. Are the goats the most aggressive animal you have? Uh, yeah, are the macaws, but aggression is, um, not a way that we like to describe it. We like to say they're defensive behaviors. Oh, yeah, on the turf. What do you think about that? <laughs> Is she sedated or just normally chill? She's not sedated. She's just a uh, wow. chilled out lady. Skeetle, little, 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 do. Thank you. She's planking. Does she eat live food or frozen? We feed out frozen thawed. Um. Rodents. 
Thanks, Kelsey. That's awesome. What does she get for food? She gets large rats and uh, guinea pigs. Same diet as me. Is she shedding soon? Uh, she's not showing signs of shedding soon. Rattlesnakes 150 PSI. Macaws up to 700 PSI. Yeah, seems seems about right. Snakes can definitely get bored, like mammals can. Can you use sheddings for bags and stuff? No, snake skin is, uh, the snake has to die to use snake skin. It is not the shed that they use for stuff like that. Thanks, Grizz. That's really nice. How many times will they shed in their lifetime? Uh, a lot, but it all depends. It's not consistent. It's not like once a year necessarily. Uh, Noodle has shed quite a few times since we've had her here. Um, it just depends on the individual snake. Peaceful. Hey. A little bit. I have time to work on the No. I think we're going to swap over. This is the last thing I have today. Okay. 500 bits. Okay. Um Yeah. Uh, do you want to switch in here? Because I'm going to sit in here with her for a while, but I don't need to like be live while I'm sitting here with her. Oh, right. Okay, never mind. I'll come up there in like five minutes. All right. I'll be in the and stuff. Okay, Age. Thanks. Okay, Age. Um, she's native to Australia. She's a carpet python. Um, I guess we'll give her another few minutes out here and then bring her back up. Was there, I don't know. Um, was there a specific reason Noodle was donated from the zoo? Yeah, um, they thought she was too aggressive to use for programs because they would feed her in her enclosure and so anytime anyone walked by her, she would strike at the glass because she thought that she was going to get fed. And so they wouldn't take her out for education programs. So she was just sitting at the zoo. Um, so they didn't, they didn't want her because they, they have their animals for education. So I say aggressive in that context because that's what we were told. Um, but it's also, it's, it's neither aggressive nor defensive behavior. It's just feeding behavior, um, I think, is what that was. So when I was an intern at that zoo, uh, they said that like, I never interacted with her. I never took her out. I entered at that zoo for four years um, and I never saw her out and I never took her out because they were like, she'll bite you. And then when I was looking for a snake, they were like, well, there's this one. They were like, oh, there's the carpet. And I was like, uh, I was like, you want me to take the carpet? And then um, I went over and I took her out and I was like, you know what? This is probably fine. Uh, and turns out she's fine. Hooray. Noodle, would you like a chance to check out the grass before we go? Are you having a good time? Do you like the sun? Is it nice? Look, grass. <sighs> what do you think? Touching grass. Is that nice grass?
tickly. Imondus Cory Murray subbed for three months. Yay, noodle in the sun. <laughs> Thank you for the three months, Emma. Hmm. It's hard to tell if she likes it, but I'm feeling like she doesn't. <laughs> the end of her tail looks weird. Yeah, good catch. Um, so, end of her tail is probably from before us. Before we had her, um, hi, thanks. Before we had her, it was either a nutrition deficiency or a bad shed where the shed got wrapped around her tail like an umbilical cord gets wrapped around something and cut off circulation. Are you going? Can I take a picture of you? Yeah, you can probably do that better. <laughs> so just take a screenshot. Yay, snaky. Exploring. Oh. Eight K. <laughs> she wants in the camera. Are those gill, slatted, gill slats lateral to her mouth? Um, they're heat sensing organs, pit organs. Thermal camera built in. She wants in the camera. You can step back here and see what she does. Can snakes overheat? Yeah. Yes, they can. That's a lot of snake. Size reference? That's a lot of snake. She's bigger than me. Hi. Wow. Manterio resubbed for 27 months. Exem, wow. Thank you. Manterio. Explore. Yay, snakey. She's making a path. Snake shaped path. How many mice can you fit in the length of that thing? Uh, a mouse is like this big. So like at least five. It's kind of like what Kayla was saying earlier with toast. It's just, it's really hard to tell if they're enjoying it, you know, if they like it or if they're upset. She seems fine. 
Like she doesn't seem like she's panicking. But it's really just, it's hard to tell. I, I don't know. I would not put a snake on a play date with another snake. The one that they use with their tongue, a Jacobson's organ. Snakes really social with other snakes. I think pretty much, no, I should not say that. I think most snakes are solitary species with the exception of mating, of course. Um, I can't think of any like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Cause I don't know enough about wild snake populations to know if there are some that live in groups. I guess not, but I don't know. How do snakes mate exactly? Uh, snakes have a penis. They actually have a hemi penis, so they have two penises, um, and they mate via insertion. Um, and then they lay eggs, and then the eggs hatch, and then they're baby snakes. You mean to tell me their peen is kind of like their tongue? I mean, it's like their tongue in the sense that it's two-pronged, I suppose. But in every other way, no, it's not like that at all. How many bones do they have? Out. Quite a few. A Look up snake skeletons. It's actually really interesting. Six. Thank this you. First gift sub in the channel. Fluffles. Is this the only snake that's in the sanctuary? No, we also have a ball python. Much smaller. She's, she's the biggest snake that we have. We have two. Snake lungs are going to be in the upper third of their body, I believe. Your stomach's uh, second third of her body. Noodle is a carpet python. Yeah, coastal carpet python. Do they get more bones as they grow, or do the bones just get bigger? Uh, they just get bigger. It's like, it's like us as we grow. Who named it after a carpet? That I do not know. Do snakes accidentally bite their tongues like humans do? That I also don't know, but I think the answer is no. She eats large rats and guinea pigs.
No, snakes can drink water. How long can they go without eating? Months. Months. Can't eat humans? No, she can't. She's fed a uh, frozen thawed animals. Could she survive in Texas? No, I, I don't think so. Could she eat humans if they were broken up into small pieces? I mean, I suppose so. Physically. All right, Ugh. shall we bring Noodle back up? Flip, here you go. Don't st step on the snake. I, sorry. Okay, all right, Noodle. Ma'am, go about here. Okay, back we go. No. Do you like it outside? Are you having a good time? She doesn't really like being carried, if you can tell. She, she wants to go down. Right. We're going back, I promise. Okay. Thank you for the sub. Run 24 7. Right. Yeah, but yes, I can roll one up for yours. She stopped. <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, okay, so what I said about constricting, she really, like, would not choke me unless she wanted to eat me, but so much of her weight is on my neck right now. It actually, like, <laughs> she actually did get me for saying there. <laughs> But that's just her trying to balance. Here, you want it up here? How about up here? Wow, look at that. Sorry, guys. These things take time. It's a lot of snake. Okay. All right, there she goes. Her cage. 
snake fun. It's time. It's time to raid in. Guys, it's projects with Connor because it's Friday. Um, don't go anywhere because same backpack. Just more streams here. And I'll check on the foxes. Don't worry about them. Good stuff. Thanks for being here. Um, plans got kind of shot, but it was still pretty good. Looks like you had fun. Yeah, it was good. They're sleepy oh no. Okay. Starting the raid. I like to stream. Hooray! The snake was cool. Both snakes were cool. The snake Ooh. this morning was cool. Yeah, oh. it took me a while. Um, you didn't get bit, did you? No. Good. I mean, darn. Okay, um, all you have to wait for is we gotta switch the camera from my DSLR to uh, the GoPro. But that's, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna be pissed. Is the raid going through? I don't see it. Uh, yes. Oh. Raid's been acting weird. They've been so weird. Been broken. Flip has it. Okay. Mm. All right, we're gonna swap it.